Hello folks, welcome to the show, my name is Lafaria. Uh, sorry for the lack of video content lately, I don't know really what happened, I just got holed up in, over the last few months. Uh, but I'm trying to slowly get back to the usual uh, video schedule of like one to two videos per week. So let's talk aiming, of course, aiming a very big part of every FPS out there. And I do get a fair share of requests along the lines of can you do a video on aiming or can you do a video on how to get good at uh, railgun? Uh, shooting or how to get more accurate uh, or more specifically can you do a video on flick rails um, and that all I will try to cover in this video here um, but I was kind of hesitant at first in uh, about making this video because there is no real twist to it no real technique that I can show you uh, unlike the movement tutorial series that I've done uh, there is no secret to good aim sorry to burst your bubble right off the bat there um, aiming is pretty much a purely mechanical skill and like every mechanical skill in games or uh, sports whatsoever uh, it just comes down to doing it a lot and um, that's no different here in um, with the, the accuracy in aiming so the best tip I can give you is just play a lot just play game after game after game and just um, try to be as accurate as possible um, because that will uh, yield the best improvement over time. However, I can give you a few tips about um, how you can practice your aim more efficiently and what modes in Quake Life you can use for that. So let's start with the railgun. Um, most people seem to be concerned about their railgun first and foremost. Um, that's that being because the railgun is pretty much the aiming skill check of uh, Quake Live, and where you can see accuracy uh, the most, where it's most visible in most players. One thing you can do to improve your railgun aim is play a lot of instagip. Not only is instagip uh, a very fast and fun play uh, mode in my opinion, but it's also very good to practice your railgun aim. There's like little to no decision making involved, you can just run and shoot. It's unranked, so uh, you don't have to worry about your points, though you shouldn't worry about points too much anyway, but people do that. And um, you can just just pick it up and, and jump into a game and just frag some people. I like playing uh, one or two rounds of Instagip free for all, um, just as a kind of warm up, just to get the blood pumping uh, and flowing in my hands and, and get a bit more into the zone. And to um, to sort of like warm up uh, for more serious matches afterwards. And something that I've noticed is when I do play a lot of Instagib, my railgun aim gets significantly better. So about like 5 to 10% better uh, in terms of accuracy. As I said, getting good at aiming in quite a lot just comes down to shooting and playing a lot. And uh, Instagib lets you do that. Moreover, if you want to um, practice something more specifically, like let's say flick rails, uh, you can do that too. Just hop on into a, an Instagib match and just uh, stand still on, on one... Um, on one spot and just practice flick rails over and over and over and you over time you will get good at that of course you probably won't win those games but who cares we're not here to win games we're here to improve our skill and, and that's the whole thing while we're doing that so um as i said um insta give very good mode for that because it is unranked and uh, you don't lose any kind of points or matchmaking rating or anything along those lines if you want to practice your aiming on any other weapon other than the rail, then the new loadout system comes in handy. So you can just hop on into any uh, game game mode where you don't care about your score, preferably free for all or something along those lines, and um, pick a weapon in your loadout that you want to uh, practice. I've chosen the uh, lightning gun here because I'm very bad at lightning gun. And you only use that weapon, no other weapon. You use that weapon for the entirety of the match. Again, you will probably not win those games, but it's not about winning those games, it's about getting better at the, at the weapons, and you will improve on that weapon if you force yourself to using it, I promise you. And that's it, folks, that's all, that's how you get good at aiming. As you see, there's no magic, no trick, no secret there, you just have to do it a lot, just play your ass off, that's how all the pros do it. Uh, one final tip that I can give you is use a very low uh, sensitivity on your mouse uh, because that allows you to uh, aim more precisely and uh, turn off mouse acceleration in Windows. But if you play um, FPS games regularly then you have probably already done that but I just wanted to point that out. Alright, one final thing I would like to talk about here is the fact that I think that uh, most players overrate the impact that uh, 
aiming has in games like Quake Life. Of course it's important to hit your target and of course an accurate player will always be better than a more inaccurate player. But um, I think the impact that good aiming has on the game is not that great. Um, if you're just an average aimer as opposed to like a, a fairly good aimer, that uh, it kind of does not make that much of a difference in a game like Quake. To kind of strengthen my point here, I would like to talk about two professional players. The first one being Tox, whom we have seen play earlier. Tox is notorious for his exceptionally good aim, especially with the, with the lightning gun. Um, and he is so goddamn amazing that his damage output in battles becomes unpredictable. And if you go up against him, you cannot anticipate the damage that he will do. He will do way more than you think. And that's why uh, people often overestimate uh, themselves when they go up against him and end up dying. Unless you are that good at aiming, uh, your aiming does not make that much of an impact because your opponent will always be able to sort of like anticipate the damage that you will uh, do and will know when to commit and when to back up. And the second and more important player that I want to talk about is Agent. If you look at matches that Agent has played, you will not only notice that he is a filthy, filthy rage quitter, but also that his hit scan aiming, like a Rail and Lightning Gun, is quite poor. He doesn't hit that much. But he does win matches and tournaments. And why is that? Uh, because Agent has very, very good item control and very good rotations and very good positioning. And those things are way more important than aiming in Quake Life. If you get like all the items on the map and are able to, to cycle them uh, efficiently and pick up uh, and pretty much suck the map dry, that's how most casters describe it. I, I think Strength said he's like Pac-Man, he just Pac-Mans everything uh, on the map and, and eats up all the items on the map. If you're able to do that, then your opponent will have a very, very hard time killing you, but because not only will you have the superior position on the map uh, and it will be very hard to hit you, but uh, also you will have a way, way bigger stack and your opponent will not get anything uh, in, as a po um, in forms of health and armor and will just bleed out over time because you will just do little tidbits of damage here and there and uh, over time you will just starve your opponent out because you're just depriving him of every resource there is. So yeah, that's my opinion on that. You might disagree with that. There are people who um, value aiming much higher than I uh, do, but I uh, think Focus on the things that you can control, and that is your um, that is your item management and your positioning and your decision making in games. And um, aiming for the most part, as I said, time and time again, if you just do it a lot, you will uh, get better, uh, and that will just come natural by just playing uh, a lot of games. So uh, my advice is don't focus on your aim too much. But of course, if you'd like to improve your aim, I have hopefully been able to give you a few pointers as to how uh, to practice your aim with a bit more focus. So that's all from me for now, kind of a short little video here. Um, I hope you got something out of it and I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you want to catch me on my stream and um, see me do some of these things live and see how I, uh, how bad I am at, at aiming and gaming in general, um, you can do so on twitch.tv slash lefaria, I'll try to stream a bit more in the next time. And again, sorry for the lack of content lately, I'm trying to get back into that. So yeah, that's all. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, my name's been Lefaria. So far, practice, have fun, see you next time, goodbye.